exchange harsh words following Turkey's attempted military coup and criticism of America's growing not only on a government level but also on the streets of Turkey with anti-U.S. movements gaining ground. Paula Sleer reports. It's a late-night meeting of the Turkish Youth Union, a nationalist group virently anti-America. Many here believe Washington is stirring discontent from behind. We define you as murderers, as killers. After it happened, the world immediately stood up and took notice of our movement. This trailer. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Get. But no, you start. The citizens' hate for America increased hugely as a result of the recent coup attempt. It was an operation to divide Turkey. Washington's refusal to hand over Fethullah Gulen, an American-based cleric, is one of the grievances being cited. Erdogan and his government are convinced Gulen organized last week's attempted coup, and some are asking whether war is on the horizon. There will not be a real war between the two countries, but there will be a diplomatic war. If the same situation happened in America, we would give the person to America. It is so clear that there will be a problem. America's attitude is so important here. I think eventually they will give back Fethullah Gulen, but in a conditional way. Those conditions might well affect future operations at the Turkish-American Incirlik Air Base. Access was closed during the coup, preventing one and a half thousand Americans from getting in or out, while the base's commander has been detained and others arrested. The U.S. Embassy in Ankara is keeping tight-lipped. We approached them for comment, but they said they had nothing to add to what the American president and his secretary of state have already said. The public insinuations or claims about any role by the United States in the failed coup attempt are utterly false and harmful to our bilateral relations. With tensions bubbling on the horizon, ties between Ankara and Washington may be stretched to the limit. Paul Asir, RT, Ankara. And coming up next here on RT International, watching the Hawks looking at the newly declassified congressional report on the 9-11 attacks, which are mostly blacked out and redacted. So good luck assessing that. Live from Moscow, it's RT International.